Well, hi everybody, it's your boy Ray, and I figured this week since I, I was recording all my vlogs this week, and you know it seemed like I just ran, I was reviewing the the footage, and I seemed like I was rambling on a bit. I think I was going to make a, another like 18 plus a minute video, so I figured you know what, let's scratch all that, and let's just do a webcam vlog for today, right? Or for this week, I should say. So yeah, webcam vlog. Plus I haven't done one in a while, you know, I haven't done one in a while, and also today since I am up kind of early because uh, I had to go to uh, the bank really quick to uh, drop off my paycheck before it closes early today and I had to pick up some stuff at the store because I'm out of cobs or out of some cobs some cobs right now today is Saturday and I'm actually up doing the vlog rather than you know usually I do something like this on a Sunday and be like yeah guys uh, you know I'm lazy um, I forgot you know doing the vlog and stuff like that you know just whatever. so yeah I'm actually up and responsible so here I am and my hair is all messed up because I like to wear a, I like to wear a beanie when my hair is just messed up. So you know that way it's like it's easier. I don't have to make it. I'm not going out to see people or see friends or anything. You know, it's just you know, I'm just out and about. Today's vlog is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th, and so like I said, today's Saturday. This is the end of the month, and it's like wow, you know, I've made it through uh, 35 weeks of off-season training, and you know, soon, very soon. I'm gonna start my contest prep because <laughs> I was actually thinking um, when I did my contest prep for 2014 I started at I think 22 weeks out 22 weeks out because I was actually thinking about starting um, in May uh, to cut so like that first week of May so that would be that would give me 20 weeks up until the show that I want to do in September but a part of me feels you know I need to give myself a lot more weeks. So right now, I'm actually thinking prep at 25 weeks out or prep at 24 weeks out. You know, so ugh. I, was, I felt like the sneeze coming on. So I was actually thinking about that, and you know, obviously, like right now, I'm looking at the calendar with me because the calendar is like right here in front of my face. I have maybe like four weeks of the month. I'm looking at this calendar again. Yeah, I have like four weeks of March where I could still train. And then either you know start on the fifth week or that last that last end going into April to start my prep or you know just go through all of March and start the first week of April um, but either way when we get around to that point we'll get around to that point but I should be able to have a more firm decision by maybe in like two weeks or something like that so two vlogs later <laughs> yeah so that's what I was thinking about but Let's talk about training really quick today, or for this week, because um, it was fairly odd. <laughs> it was a fairly odd week, simply because last week, um, for one, German volume training, especially leg day, affected me going into uh, Sunday and Monday. So Sunday and Monday. And Monday overall was just a bad day, but for the most part, I got through it. So what I'm talking about is... Um, just the little things like soreness, maybe just some little bumps and bruises that tend to happen to me um, over the past week has just been uh, affecting my workout. Like for instance, like I know it's not swollen anymore, but like the tip of my ring finger right here was really, really swollen and it was hard to grip the bar. So Monday's uh, upper body workout was just horrible in general, but I still got the work in. And so with lower body, um, last Sunday you know it's the German volume training effect from last Thursday last week Thursday you know affected me again going into Sunday so I'm like hmm maybe I should deload because this workout is not going to be good but but I managed to get some really good working sets in for you know for uh, for really good depth as well like, you know, I expected, you know, since my hamstrings were tight, you know, I was really sore. It was hard to just get down. You know, I did a little bit of mobility work and, you know, I just worked really slowly up. So, you know, instead of doing like, you know, say like uh, four or five sets, you know, close to my working weights, or not I say close to my working weights, but close to like my top end working weights, you know, I started, you know, fairly, fairly light, 225, you know, and like hit that for three just to get comfortable. Then I started moving up as, you know, I started to feel better about myself. And so, you know, at some point, I got to 275, so 245s and a 25 on each side. And I was still hitting depth. And I, even though I did that for three, I was still hitting depth. 
And oddly enough, I was able to hit 275 for 6 uh, last Thursday. So that means my working weight should go up more. Like, it should be in the 300s, right? 300s. But I'm getting to that point where I probably should start using a belt. But like I said, we'll talk about that a bit later. And plus, I want to milk out as much as I can with my uh, no belt training. All right? So, yeah. But, you know, tight hamstrings. You know, um, sore butt. Not that anything was happening or anything. I was just able to get through the workout, and you know, it w it was to the point where you know maybe I should deload or I should do something, um, you know, lower the volume a bit. But I was like, you know what, nah, buck up, pal, be a man. Oh yeah, so upper body power day. Like I said, having the grip because of um, getting my uh, my ring finger tip swollen it was hard to grip the bar, so. I wasn't able to do the working weights that I wanted to do, so instead of maybe doing 250 or attempting a 255, I was just like, you know what? I kind of stopped at 245 just because, like, I actually felt uncomfort in my hand, and you know, when this feels like you're not holding the bar, then it's like, stop the strength training, stop lifting heavy, and kind of back off on the weight, or even like go to machines or something. So. That's uh, that's how upper body went, but I still managed to get a workout in and get a, a fairly good amount of progress. Um, the uh, the hypertrophy though, also kind of weird because on push day, like German volume training, I actually feel that I respond better for that on a push day. It's like you know, it's it's natural for me to do higher sets and high repetitions, and it felt normal for me to do that on high, on a push day. I guess, like I said last video, or what I wanted to intend to do this week was to just go back to my just original uh, variety exercise scheme because I like a little bit more variety when I train. Uh, because you know, doing a, a 10 by 10 of just one workout is like boring <laughs> to me, even though it does have a lot of benefits because you know you're just focusing on one exercise and you're keeping the weight static. That you know it's gonna burn and you're gonna feel the pump it's just you know, it's boring to me I like to have a little bit of variety like instead of doing a 10 by 10 why not do like two exercises say a barbell and a dumbbell movement you know for a chest press type thing you know, and do that for five sets of 10 for each one like I actually love that instead rather than doing a 10 by 10 especially if you want to pyramid and I'm a guy who pyramids um, in workouts so that's what I love doing the most and you know that's why um, it felt natural for me to do, you know, like a lot of sets on barbell incline, but not like I didn't want to stick with, you know, say 145, 10 sets to 10. Like I want to go for like 145. I'm like, you know what? I felt good. Let's do 155. Okay, let's try 165. You know, I just wanted to go up. You know, um, also that day, you know, I still felt uh, discomforts. Uh, like my my uh, my my finger hasn't swollen or hasn't recovered yet, so. Gripping the bar was still hard, but I still got some good weight in. I, I wanted to try 205 again, but I was like, no, 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 I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't grip with this hand. I can grip with this hand though. <laughs> Leg day on Thursday. Oddly enough, um, a gym member wanted to work out with me, so I was like, oh man. So he worked out um, using my split, and he did some pretty good weight. You know, it's you know my my experience with weightlifting is is a lot more I guess different but maybe just a levels more advanced than um, that gym member so you know uh, but you know we're um, um, psych we're uh, alternating in and out the squats um, we did leg press and we did deadlifts and throughout the whole time like I was actually teaching him you know teaching him cues and you know trying to improve his technique with squats and deadlifts and when we did leg press you know we're doing uh, a close stance leg press because that's what I love to do on, on hypertrophy days is rather than do a normal stance leg press where I probably more focus on strength here I'm more focused on hypertrophy where you know I'll do a leg press with a close stance that way I could focus more on like my outer sweep where I'll have a I'll have some type of leg movement that's gonna focus on the outer sweep and that's what I was you know I was explaining more on that and it felt actually kinda good to explain you know how something works and maybe like take cues of like to correct your technique and oddly enough when we we're doing uh, deadlifting some other people came in just to kind of observe while we were talking and like I was actually like talking to them and you know they were trying out deadlifting as well so I'm like um, I'm putting on a clinic right now but I'm still trying to get my workout in <laughs> I don't know it was totally fine um, like teaching people how to do something that way like it's not like I'm just 
like shooting the shit between sets, you know, like I'm doing nothing. But here it's like I was actually teaching people and like actually enlightening people, which felt kind of cool because, well, guess what? I do that for my job. <laughs> I do that for my actual job. I try to teach people how to, you know, write an academic essay. And, you know, it felt really good to teach people how to do a deadlift correctly, you know, and for longevity wise. Because, you know, I'm learning a lot from like a lot of YouTube videos, you know, especially like powerlifters, how to lift for you know longevity you know you want to lift heavy but you do want to do it as safe as possible so this is why like I love watching uh, like super training Mark Bell silent Mike you know all those guys from super training I love watching him and just what he uh, educates people about you know powerlifting you know even though it's mostly gonna be bench squat and deadlifts I'm learning a lot from that because those are still three main movements you want to use in some sort of program whatsoever and this is why I like I want to try deadlift in my uh, my next approach once I start cutting. Uh, pull day, pull days the same. Whatever. <laughs> pull day is has always been. It's it's one of those days where it's just I know what I need to get done and I hit the back from all angles. But it's just like there's just something there that needs to be there. And for me, I think I would like to put deadlifts on a pull day. But you know I'm doing a deadlift variation on leg days now. But like I said, this is where um, once I start my new approach for, or my new approach when I cut, so when I start a new training regimen for my contest cut, that's where everything's gonna uh, change up. And that's where I sh will shift an actual deadlift over to a pull day. Because I feel like deadlifts is going to be the thing that's going to help my whole posterior chain, you know, rather than I'm doing it just for the hamstring work. Well, if I'm gonna do it for the hamstring work, I'd rather just do stiff leg deadlifts. That's it. But I actually want to try and do a conventional deadlift. I'm, I'm deciding to use conventional over sumo now because I feel more comfortable with sumo, with nuts. With, I feel more comfortable with conventional than sumos. And I feel mechanically I'm a lot more better with conventional. And that's just me. Because so, cause like the guy that I was working with Thursday, leg day, he was more of a sumo guy, but he wanted to learn conventional. So I was teaching no conventional. And, you know, I guess, you know, it's just different for how everyone works and so that's just works for me and oddly enough I wanted to learn sumo but it's like you know because I saw like a lot of people do so you know what it's just like do whatever is comfortable for you and they say that for the squat as well place the bar on your back and squat just make sure it's in a comfortable position today is the last day of February and we are at the the last and the latter end or we're pretty much literally the last day <laughs> the last day of February and we're going into March and March is going to be like my last like off season weeks. Literally going to be my last off season weeks because in April or sometime sometime April, like likely in the beginning, whether it is going to be you know that last couple of days of March going into April, 25 weeks or the next or the the first whole week of April, I'm going to start cutting. I'm going to reverse age back to 18 again, and it's going to be fine. Uh, I can't wait to start my contest prep soon because really. I do feel kind of fat. All right, so that's all I got to talk about today. So for right now, I want to play a little bit of Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate because I'm getting slowly and slowly addicted to this day by day, day by day. Like even yesterday, like at, when I had to uh, go in for work, like I brought this with me, put on my street pass to see if there's people around me playing Monster Hunter. I can get some little palicos, you know. So yeah, addiction is a bad thing. And especially when you're addicted to weightlifting. But that's a good thing, right? Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, bye-bye. Peace out. I'll see everyone for next time. So maybe in a couple weeks, I will I will be more uh, decisive 25 weeks out or 25, 4 weeks out. Okay? Okay, now, bye. Peace out. All right, a little bit of bonus footage for the vlog today. Just to kind of show you how I was doing the vlog right now. So this is how, like, the normal setup looks like. So I have OBS. Uh, on this side right here and I was kind of referencing all my workouts on this side right here So I have Evernote open and then this is uh, the record and stuff So let me do a preview stream really quick just to kind of show you what it's like. Hi. Oh shit. It's inception So here's my webcam up here. It's I forgot what type of webcam it is uh, It doesn't say on the webcam, but it's a Logitech HD webcam. It's pretty good I don't know what I'm looking at. Let me show you the calendar. Just how it looks like filled out really quick So that's all my weight for the month of February. So Started at 153, ended at 153.6, so that actually looks pretty good. And now I have 
This whole month of March. Ooh. Wait, let me show you something really quick. That's what I look like. That's what I look like. Okay. So yeah, I got all those weeks right there. That is going to be exciting to start cutting soon. Somewhere around there or that first week of that first full week of April. So we'll see. We'll see.